Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's about time to talk about some Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. And everyone's so damn divided on this one. It's ridiculous. Either people love it or hate it. No, there's not a lot of people who are very vocal saying it was pretty cool. I mean, I think everybody can agree it's not like the worst one, right? I, and some people are like, dude, you if you think this is the worst one, you haven't seen Next Generation. <laughs> Come on, man. There's a lot. Or the Leatherface one that just came out. <laughs> Sauce stream. Yeah. Yeehaw. We got a Texas hat for uh Texas Massacre, <laughs> I guess. Man, but I really enjoyed this. I was going to hope that uh, it was going to blow up a little bit more. But everybody's so damn divided about this new Texas Chainsaw. I I, I don't know. Maybe it's all about uh, it's a little confusing. I'll, the only thing I didn't like about it was about Sally. Sally sort of got wasted for no reason. That's the only thing I was like, well, it's not even like, cause I think people watch Halloween kills and go like, well, that person's supposed to be based off Lori and the whole movie's based on Lori and her being the final girl. And she just seemed like she was at an end at the last second. They went, Hey, Halloween 2018 works. So put her in it. Yeah. So straight. No, th thanks dude. Yes. She was totally wasted in this movie for no reason. But she had a cool death, but it's also sad to see like an elder person die. Like when Jamie Lee Curtis dies and Halloween ends, I hope she dies in a better way. I, I don't know. Because she got like picked up off the ground and you're like, oh man, that poor old lady. And it, it's almost like enough time has passed because what? It's been about 50 years since the next one. So. That's why even that person in the beginning, I think that's like his girlfriend, right? Because what he he went to an orphanage to sort of lay low, and then they talk about the whole Sally Hardesky thing, and I guess after the events of Part One, he went to uh, live in the town and uh, lay low for a bit, and probably found a girlfriend. But it's very cool. This is on Netflix too. Like, even if you hate it, like, whatever, dude. It's on Netflix. Not like you wasted a movie ticket to go see it. Hey, I like how the last movie we see of a flat slasher franchise are just sequels to the first. I've always liked that trend. I thought that's what they were going to do with Scream because it was just called Scream. Now every sequel is just called the regular thing. And they say it's due because of marketing because people go, oh, man, Texas Chainsaw 9, that's got to suck. Like they started to do that with the uh, Friday the 13th. Like, all right, Friday the 13th, part eight, Jason takes Manhattan. They're like, no, we're not calling it eight no more. That's stupid. But Fast and Furious is doing it. Fast and Furious is going, all right, Fast Night. I guess they're not saying Fast and Furious Night because they did Fast and the Furious. And then they kept making them and they went, well, we'll do Fast Nine or something. Or if they do a sequel to this, what are they going to call it? That's like the same thing on what are they going to call Scream? Cause it's like what Scream Five, Scream Six, right? It's gonna be uh, one of the one of those things. Scream Kills. I like that. Like what they call it, like Kills or Returns or something like that. Resurrection's always like a bad name. Anytime you put Resur Matrix Resurrection was awful. Halloween Resurrection. Leave that sort of word alone for them, uh, sequels. But all right, the kills are pretty awesome in this. I liked it. Yeah, for the remake of uh, Friday the 13th, they just said Friday the 13th. Yeah, the remakes always have the same name. So, yeah, there, there's that. Because if you're a remake, you're sort of rebooting everything. But if it's a sequel, so if you're going in the timeline, it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, then Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then, I don't know, whatever. But, yeah, it's just marketing so people uh, know that's coming out and that they'll check it out again, I guess. Here, I got it on the little iPad right here. I was going to do a watch along, but I don't know if I have all that time. But in the beginning, or maybe people will go like, dude, how do these kids afford to buy a, a whole town in Texas? 
<laughs> it's like shit. I know. Well, I live in California. Everything's super expensive over here. It's like, oh man, you guys get to buy a house and the cars. Good for you. <laughs> but I guess that town was so run down, man. You probably bought for twenty thousand dollars or something. And yeah, definitely, it's on Netflix right now. So I don't know what people are uh, bitching about. Too, and we got yeah, I'm, I'm proud of this one. Oh. <laughs> nice. See, he's like superhuman strong here. Because he basically broke that guy's wrist and then shoved it in his face. So you're like, oh, damn, he is really strong now. And people are like, to me, he's sort of in that little ambulance. He looks like he's a bit of, uh, he looks like a bit like Rob Zombie Halloween 2. You're like, oh, man, he's just not keeping up with himself and everything. But I think you can imagine he was big and fat in his youth. So how the hell he even makes it this old? Yeah, I don't think I could get into all that right now. Oh, man. Nice. Yeah, so it's basically the same thing as uh, Halloween Part 4. Like, they're taking him away in the ambulance, and then he breaks out. And they killed off everyone a little bit too quick. I thought the black guy was sort of like the main guy who bought like most of the town. Because in the beginning, when they have the sheriff pull him over, it's sort of like, oh, yeah, you're the chef. So I, I guess he knows him or uh, they have money for some reason. And they're trying to get investors to do this whole town over and everything. So I guess that's what explains it, but maybe it just pisses people off that young people get money too. Dude, Leatherface looks so much scarier than originals. Yeah, dude, but I love his look in the uh, the originals. I I don't like his hair. Like the face is fine, and it's all droopy. It looks like a uh, it looks like Gacy's mask or something like that. Here, let's get to let's get to the look of his mask. Yeah, because it's like, and people are saying like, dude, how does his uh, Mac stays on? I go, oh, yeah, that is true. And people are like, dude, if you cut off a Max, it's going to be bloody. But uh, he made it really wide. So you guess it, like you pull it way over your face and everything. Because, yeah, and then when you're getting all that logic and everything, like, yeah, dude, how do you cut off a face that accurate? Like. I, I I don't know. Even when uh, who cut off a face? Sil Silence of the Lands. Once you cut off a face, it's really hard to try to keep it on your face. Like on Silence of the Lands, when he cut off a face, it looked like uh, pastrami or something he put all over his face. It was supposed to be all cut up and messed up. Yeah, but the look, the look is pretty cool. I guess that's what they were going for. They are going for a more uh, scarier look. Or I liked it because it made no sense because I think they came out with that poster a long time ago. They came out with that poster uh, a while back. Let me see if I still got it. I might not. Damn it. Well, you know, the original poster, it sort of had like his max and it was all like discolored and everything. I thought that was supposed to mean like he still held on to his old max after all these years. Like that's what I thought. hello yeah my mic got unplugged yeah it just seems like the max got old that's why it was like green and yellow and everything on the poster see that's a good look at him oh man that, i liked his curls it's too bad he, he has that like greasy long hair right now or he's a bit bald he's like michael i was thinking he was gonna cut that girl's head off with the curls and use that 
because he he had like some nice like curly hair back in like 1974. He even had some nice like hair back in the day too in uh, part two. He's he's always had good hair, man. But I think that's why his max still stays on because you have to really pull it away over your face. Hey yo, I'm new here. I just finished watching the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I, I like it. I like all the new slasher movies, to be honest. There's not one pretty much of at least sort of the mainstream ones like Leatherface. I like the Chucky show. I like the Halloween movies. I like I like them all. And people are saying the CGI with the kills and everything. That's what even made this better. They did a lot of kills that you didn't see before. Like there, there's difference between bad CGI and good CGI. Good CGI, you're not even supposed to notice it, because some people got their head cut off, like that ending shot, and I was like, "Whoa, how they do that? I've never seen anything like that." But yeah, this it was cool, and I watched it with like a a nephew of mine, and he ran out. Of the <laughs> He ran out of the room when he saw Leatherface pop up at the very end. So it is it is scary too. So I think his look right there was to go for more a uh, scarier look. But hey man, that's very cool. I hope you liked it too. And she should have played dead for longer, I say. Man, she she got him right there. She was just playing sleep. <laughs> and you should just wait for Leatherface to really go away. You had to play the long game with that, man. You should have waited till the sun went down, in my opinion. And her makeup was cool, too. She's got like a hematoma on her uh, forehead and everything. So the car crash actually messed her up a bit, too. Yeah, I've only seen one other movie that makes it seem that a character that isn't a main character makes you feel like they are the main character oh yeah you were trying to go like well who's the main character here it's the girls right or which one of those sisters was gonna be the final girl because it ended up being like a final couple or because yeah i was almost confused like i even said that in my kill count like i thought the guy was gonna be the i thought the guy was gonna be the main guy the mechanic I'm doing a watch along sort of thing right there just to keep on track. But, dude, I think the old lady that he was living with, they didn't make a sure, but they should have made sure that that was his girlfriend. Right? I, that is too young to be his mama because even Leatherface is supposed to be in his 70s now. And she doesn't even look that old. Well, it's not match up with the visual here, but. And he does have a theme for girls because even in part two, he was like rubbing that chainsaw on the girl. So he's always like had like crushes on some girls. So I, I would like to think that Leatherface uh, started dating that girl over there and she sore fell in love with them. They at least bang that they live together. <laughs> it's crazy. The kills. Yo, bro. After the credits is going to the original. Yes. I was always hoping that they were going to the original house anyway. Because it makes sense. But it's like, I thought Sally Hardesky is looking for everybody, right? Like, you don't go back to the original house to go look for him. Or you probably kill everybody in that house. But that's very cool because I think they also threw that in because people wanted to see the house in Halloween Kills. Because a lot of this stuff is like Halloween Kills did it, so they want to do it. <laughs> yeah, Leatherface caught in 4K. Yep. Yeah, I, I loved it. It was pretty cool. And how they thought they bought like every single house except that house that they were living at. And I guess they were trying to make Leatherface a bit more sympathetic. Yeah, I thought this guy was going to live a lot longer than he uh, ended up. 
But the kills are pretty uh, creative too. Like that's all you want in there. Oh, nice. Yeah, he died pretty early. And to kick people out your house, you need like eviction notices. You need you need all this stuff. You can't just kick them out on a whim. And she had the deed to her house. Like, come on, man, uh, show her the deed. And it's pretty silly to die from like the shock of leaving your house too. But I guess she was pretty sick at the time. Oh, yeah, they said she had a heart attack. Yeah, because I, everyone thinks that's Leatherface and his mom, but come on, man. Leatherface is 70 years old. His mom would have to be 90. Even to take her on as like a mother figure is not really uh, plausible. Hey, you already watched this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yay. I was waiting for this forever, man. Like, I even made, like, a theory video. I have a playlist up that's like, oh, Sally's coming back. Because I think we got, like, most of this, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre news in 2020. Or we heard it was going to happen. But, like, I heard Sally was coming back. And I know the actress is dead. But the character came back. And you're like, well, what does that mean then? It seemed like we got the news because they added her at the last second. Oh, yeah, this mechanic and him had a pretty cool fight. Boom! Oh, man, after that guy got his knee broke like that, I was like, dude, that, that is over. I thought he would have hung around till the very end, but nope. And he used glass a bit. And I think people are even saying, like, why Why did she help him out right there? Like, dude, are you serious? After that leg got broke, you go, oof, man, that guy is done. I'm sorry. And she's a little curly hair girl. Like, I don't think uh, I don't think you want any part of uh, Leatherface in that situation. So, dude, even just the effects on that leg was pretty cool. And we've seen this a hundred times where he actually hits you with the sledge. Right? Uh, see, I don't know how much of this I could show on a, like, a live stream. I don't know. Because they're always cracking down on you. I remember I got the, my last time. Uh, my last, like, uh, I watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre, like a watch along, and I was showing some clips. Because the very first Texas Chainsaw Massacre was, like, very gritty, dude. It was very, like, shot, like, a uh, handheld sort of stuff. And I don't know. I think even if, like, a YouTube people are watching, it's almost like a snuff film or something. All right, here. Let's go back to where uh, the people in the van died. So this is where he gets his max, too. I was like, even in my theories, I was like, maybe he makes a new max. So I was right on a couple of theories. And it's a small town, and they only have like a couple of like three, four cops. That don't make no sense. But I think the kills were the best kills out of the whole franchise, too. Like that whole bus massacre was pretty awesome. Every kill had brought something new to it. I right hear. Oh, my goodness. I think my main thing with that head being chopped off was like, oh, man, did he rip that off or he did that pretty silent? <laughs> but if you watch the end, he sort of just went and he was super strong. I, I wouldn't bet if he like tore somebody's head off. If you could break somebody's wrist and have a bone sticking out and stick it at a person, you're pretty strong enough to rip a person's head off, too. Hey, what's up, Lil Wayne? 
I was surprised to see a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre film as I thought the series had been farted on. <laughs> yeah. Dude, but I would even say, like, uh, people are shitting on a lot of the sequels. I like most of the sequels in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre-verse. But you know what? It is about time, like, all right, they brought them back, but now let's have a sequel, right? Let's do a crossover. It's about time that, because, dude, all I get in the comments on most of other videos is, like, who would win? uh leatherface or michael myers or leatherface or something he's one of the names always thrown in the mix and if you look at the trends of stuff uh king kong versus godzilla that made the most money out of uh either godzilla or king kong freddy versus jason even though it was like 15 years ago do that do a, a versus crossover crossover with anything at this point Like that that's what I want to see next. Like, all right, he's going back to his house and maybe Chucky, because Chucky needs a movie, right? He's in TV world. And uh you have multiple Chuckies. One of the Chuckies could go out to Texas or something like that, right? And this part was pretty cool too. So I was saying, like, dude, let's at least get some more sequels out of this. Because even on this, I would even say the second run of Texas Chainsaw Massacre was probably way more successful than uh, the first run. But I, you know, like even people in their list put like part two, like near the end. I would even put part two a little bit closer. Like, I think if I got to rank them, I'd rank them like original, uh, the remake. And then this one. This one could be probably third. And I'll be watching this one more. It just felt so modern and I liked it. I don't like it when, you know, like everything's got to be based in the 80s or something. Or they're going to try to do the old shit all over again. I liked how they even used phones. That was funny. I needed even more laughs like that. People go like, dude, that was cringe in the trailer. Like, do something and you're canceled. It's sort of like how people film cops. And they think they're going to behave uh, correctly because you're live streaming them or something. A Leatherface like, cancel me for what? <laughs> it was great. I loved it. And it's so sad because your mom is, if your mom follows your Instagram account and everything, she is going to see you die on your feed. So, you know, there's that. Yeah, I agree. A crossover with anyone would be sweet. Yes, crossover with anybody. I don't care. Because who, like, Michael Myers doesn't need it. Like, that's what. You need two people, like, equal footing who are pretty desperate. Or it's sort of like getting two boxers together. Like, one doesn't want it meant to be the A side or B side. Like, some situations, Leatherface would be the A side. Like, Leatherface is definitely the A side if he's going to cross over with like Leprechaun, right? So he would be like, hey man, I want 70% cut, you get 30% cut. I mean, they could work out deals like that. That is why Spider Man is in the MCU right now. Sony and Disney got together, got in a room, and decided, like, all right, we're going to get a cut of this box office, but you're going to put them in the Avengers, and then you're going to make some movies for us. And No Way Home became one of the biggest movies out there because of this whole working relationship and people are not mentioning that too like spider-man no way home is like the biggest crossover movie there ever was like yeah you get there uh, godzilla versus uh king kong or Frey versus jason all those crossovers that made theatrical runs have been great and made the most money out of any of them i don't know why people are uh, pooing on it as much i was hoping they were going to cross over and have some more uh family members in this Dude, the one taking the ending with the head being sawed off. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if we'll, we'll get there. But I really liked how uh, this chainsaw thing really happened, too. Like, oh, shit. Uh, and I think even if you look at the comments in that section, too, they're like, oh, man, that looks so fake. <laughs> that haunted house is whack like when i'm watching the when i was watching uh the trailer i was figuring they would thought like oh this must be a prank 
that's why we brought out our phones but no it's literally it, it's like how people are filming uh people like dude you try to you're canceled i think they were still thinking it's a prank so everyone take it easy because people go like oh that ruined the, that made the movie better for me I love the movie, but it felt so short. Yeah, yeah, it, it sort of did, dude. It felt little short, and people like Sally's part was so cut down. You're like, what the hell? Why was she even in this movie? If they would have replaced her with somebody else. Like, they could have replaced Sally with uh, the girl who survived in part two. Like, nothing, nothing needed. It didn't need to be a direct sequel to part one. Because you didn't bring any family members or the house or anything. You just had it that he ran off and went to this town or this orphanage and started uh, being with this lady. Because he wasn't in an orphanage. He was already grown. And people will say that like, dude, he went to town. He met a woman. She felt bad for him. And I guess they eventually started dating or something. Because I even, when you watch the movie, he called her. she called him babe. Like, babe, don't worry about it. I mean, if that's like your son, you don't call him babe that much, right? She called him babe like I thought, oh, man, good for Leatherface. He saw her like, hey, I put my chainsaw down. I took off my max for this lady, this love of mine. And once she croaked, I, psh, I snapped. That's a better story, isn't it? And it's sort of like I think they left that to interpretation. Like, they left that open-ended because he's already supposed to be 70 years old. That's definitely not his mom, and he definitely didn't go to orphanage. Or maybe they left that open for a sequel. Like, oh, dude, how they met, how they... Maybe she was, like, being abused, and he killed them. Like, every movie tries to make him more and more sympathetic. Even the very first movie, these are just people breaking into his house, and his family's telling him to do that stuff. But without the family... Right, so I guess uh, he had no family for like the next fifty years or something. Yeah, but it was unexpected. It was good, so I watched it. Yeah, it was very cool. Oh man! Oh yeah, this massacre was pretty neat. Oh my god! See, that was a bit CGI, but that was that was okay CGI. You know, like I heard people say that it take me out. That made me like it a bit more. Too much CGI is like it chapter two did. You go, oh yeah, that's way too much. But that that was blended together pretty cool. I don't know how much of that I could show. But one of these oh, that is very cool too. I was like, why did it take him so long? Dude, and I forgot who mentioned that. They go like, is that saw coming from his stomach or something like that? Or really low. But, yeah, I don't know. That meat shield saw thing is very cool. Like, all this felt, like, really hyper-violent and cool, but also in, like, a quirky sort of way. Almost like Gears of War or something, like, with the chainsaw gun. It, it was great. Oh, my God. <laughs> And I know that one had a bit of CGI in it, but that was my favorite kill of the movie. Like, it, it's crazy it took them that long to get that kill on camera. Because, look, the camera pans from right to left, and you're seeing her legs, and her top part falls off. And then, like, I don't think uh, Halloween Kills had a kill that great in it. I mean, you had the guy who stabbed in the eye with the butcher knife and everything, but... Uh, what was the set 20 years or so after? Oh, hey. Story was mom, but the overall experience is pretty fun. I can't even lie. Yeah, dude. It's like slasher movies are also supposed to be sort of com comedies. Like, even I like a little bit of sleaze in it. Like, that's what I would have probably tried to add to. Like, dude, there, there could have been a couple. I thought there was going to be a couple who tried to make out on the bed. And, right, Leatherface comes in and cuts them both up. Like, there's not enough sex in our movies anymore, I guess. Or at least something uh, something like that. Like, the Friday the 13th remake had, like, a bunch of nudity. Like, you can't even have a Friday the 13th movie without nudity as much.
All right, here. I'll be back, but here, here's the video. I got to go uh, to the restroom real quick. Oh, shit. The whole plot goes as follows. See, Leatherface is like sort of squatting inside this town. No, wait, they own the place. So they own a place in a shitty closed down town that these kids come and buy and kick him out of his house. Apparently, after the first one, right, he was staying with this orphanage lady. Oh, my God. <laughs> Brutal. And she died inside the ambulance or a makeshift ambulance, and he broke the guy's wrist and stuck it in his own face. I don't know exactly what the relationship between the Leatherface and this old lady was, but she did call him baby, so, oh, man, I think they were a thing or <laughs> something like that. It meant enough to him that it set him off to do this kill crazy rampage. Oh man, really? Leatherface shot somebody? That could be a first. But the gunshot didn't kill him or the car crash. She was very smart to play dead until boom, this guy got finished off with like a log to the face. But man, she didn't play dead long enough, man. I would have waited till the sun went down. And damn, he cut out a new face for himself real quick, like, I guess, a, like, a lot of practice. I guess she's the first one to actually see Leatherface be Leatherface, because he just got his new Max that he just carved out right now. Oh, man, so creepy. He's all petting her head and everything. I think he still wants a girlfriend. Oh, man, if you're in Leatherface's kitchen, that is your ass, right? It's almost like maybe part one. He's in the kitchen for a little bit until Leatherface just pops up and gets you. And this death was done so neat, like so uniquely. Like, look at that. Like, you barely see glimpses of it through, like, the swinging kitchen door. Oh, I loved it. The mechanic had, like, a good little encounter with him. Like, he had a gun, but he got disarmed a little bit. But, man, he gave it to him pretty much. Like, man, he might whoop Leatherface's ass until, oh, my God, a Conor McGregor leg injury. I was thinking he could be, like, the final guy until I went, no, no, that that's it. You're, you're, you're totally done for. He used glass a lot in this too, like, well that just like sort of like got him down for the count, but he went back to his old trustworthy sledge, dude. I, I, that's why I go like his sledge is probably his like first go-to, then it's the chainsaw. Think about it, like what did he use first? A sledgehammer in his very first kill, and he killed that other guy in that movie with the sledgehammer. He only killed Franklin with a chainsaw, so I guess, right? The sledge is his go-to. Dude, after Michael killed all those firemen in one setting and Malignant killed all those police officers, every slasher needs a big group killing in a movie. Don't open that! Dude, where are you going? <laughs> oh my god. I don't even think I heard a chainsaw there. Like, did he just rip that guy's head off and everything? But he need to get out of the bus. Don't be like, oh, this is stupid. Why would you go outside the bus? I think it's almost like Leatherface like got the tires or broke an axle with the chainsaw. Try anything and you cancel, bro. Oh fuck. <laughs> cancel from what? Like, oh man, I hope my job doesn't find out about this murder. <laughs> Right? Get out of here. That was so cool that it was being live streamed at the same time. Your own murder by Leatherface is gonna be on your feed for your family and friends. Man, the guy got sawed in half. Then another guy on the ground. Just There's so many cool ones to count. I think you just gotta count like everybody you saw on the bus because it seems like only one person made it out. Two people made it out alive. Oh, Meat Shield Saw. <laughs> That was pretty neat. You get like a two for one. I can't believe it took nine movies to get that sword kill in. It seems so obvious. Wow. And this one is like probably a medal. This is probably my favorite kill of this whole movie, right? He's cutting her and the camera goes from inside the bus to outside the bus and her half falls over and her guts fills out. Awesome.
I was super excited to hear that Sally Hardesky came back for this. Well, not the actress, the actress died, but the final girl from the very first one, the one that got laid in the truck and everything, she came back in this movie, but it seems like it was just wasted. She came back for five minutes just to get a chainsaw and killed. Like, what the hell was all the point of that? Like, it felt really rushed and not earned. And it's very sad to see an old lady die that way, right? It's like seeing your grandma, instead of passing away in her sleep, get hacked up with a chainsaw off the ground. Plus, she had Leatherface dead to rights with a shotgun in her face and then pulled the trigger, so it's a little bit her fault, too, to get killed. Fuck off. <laughs> That was great. It came out of nowhere. They don't do that anymore. Like, and just the way they shot this too. It's like one shot and oh, it's seamless her head getting chopped off. It's really something remarkable. I haven't seen that one before. Yeah, they used to do that old school. A lot of old school slashers like, all right, one last scare to let you know that they're alive and they just don't do that no more. So I got a total kill count of 26 people and most of that were these doucher Instagram people. Oh. On the bus. I mean, Leatherface busted out a chainsaw and they busted out phones. <laughs> His look was a little bit different. Too. Oh. I prefer the old school look and it's just sad with him and that gray hair. I wish he had the old school curls back there. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Follow me on all the things, and if you like more, I'll have some more kill count. Follow me on all the things, and catch you dudes later. Later, dudes. All right, back. Oh, let me see if my mic's still up. Yep. Yeah. All right, what I miss? What was the one set 20 years or so after the 70s original? Oh, yeah, I think um, that one was a direct sequel too. Texas Chainsaw 3D. <laughs> yeah, that was, I didn't like that one. No, no, I don't think, I don't think anybody did. Yeah, were they using iPhones or is 20 years? I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Like, I wasn't so invested in that one. That one's pretty bad. It's on Peacock right now, like. But I thought this one brought a lot of nice, interesting stuff to the table. Like, the kills are pretty cool. Uh, maybe they put in this, like, bus scene later. Whatever it was, I heard a couple of things happen during production of this where they're like, oh, we had to fire our director. We went with somebody else. We had to do it a different way. Uh, and then you heard Freddy Alvarez, who's the director of the Evil Dead remake and such. Like he was uh, supposed to do it, or he ended up being a producer. So, not the MacBook one. Hello. Okay. Yeah, the story was meh, but the like the whole story was just to get uh, some sympathy for Leatherface. I would have liked it more if they made it more clear about uh, Leatherface banging <laughs> that old lady. And maybe you could have a son. You could have a son or kids in the future, and you could have a whole new set of uh, sequels, right? Like, okay, they're banging. Uh, he goes back home. And he looks for his son or something like that. The son got taken away or something. Him and that old lady were begging. That that's as much as I know. She called him babe and everything. Wait. Oh, just the sound of that kill too was awesome. Uh, yeah, 3D. It was 20 years later, but the deputy was FaceTiming the sheriff in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty much, man, I guess. Like, oh, what's the difference? What if they just said it was uh, 30 years ago? I didn't think the sense of time made that much of a, a difference in it. 
like they've started and stopped like uh i don't know how many timelines the i think texas chainsaw has four timelines going on right now because you got the remake timeline uh you got the texas uh 3d timeline uh you got the original i i basically call it like the original run and then the second run even though they have different timelines it seems like after texas chainsaw the next generation it was dead i don't think there was another one until the the remake and then the remake actually the texas chainsaw massacre 2003 that was the only remake that actually spawned a new movies at least they got at least they I don't know why it keeps getting unplugged. But yeah, because Friday the 13th had a movie like that. And no sequel. Nightmare on Elm Street, no sequel. Amityville Horror. Well, I think it got sequels, but it was like direct to video sequels. But this is cool. I still want to do a whole watch along with this too. But there's so many other movies coming out too. I just saw The Curse. That's a cool werewolf movie. I mean, it barely made the box office top 10, but... You know, it was it was pretty cool, but I, uh, you know what? I'm sorry. Even like I was hoping that this came out in the movie theaters at least like for a night or something. How did he get from being a cellular to living in an orphanage? That's what I'm saying. I think after the events of part one, he just. Uh, you're right. He's like, dude, the cops are coming. I'm out of here. Right. So he's out of here. He went to that Harlow town. He met this girl. I guess he wasn't wearing the face on everything at the time. He saw her spit game with her, brought her back to his place and, or she took pity on him and they started dating. They dated. I don't care what people say. Cause it, it would mean there would be more sequels too. I think they left that murky. So he, you know, like a girlfriend would hide out uh, you from the cops and everything. She, cause all that stuff was on the news. Right. So, right. You need an accomplice if he was going to hide successfully for 50 years. So he stayed inside. He basically went on lockdown for himself, like a quarantine lockdown. He didn't go to the grocery store. He didn't do any of that sort of stuff. That woman went out and got all the stuff, and then later in her old age, she died. Uh, me that was a cool ending people are like how did the car drive so far i don't even know if i could leave that on a still well that 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 was a pretty cool ending too so it looks like it went all night as well i love it when they do something like that and the way i was saying it is they don't do like endings like that no more halloween kills didn't have like a huge scare i mean the scare was he killed karen and left but it wasn't like a really jump scare like ah, i'm still alive like that like carrie did that even uh the the original uh nightmare on elm street they did that a lot of the 70s and 80s like you needed a last good scare or somebody mentioned on the video too like friday the 13th when uh jason popped out of the water and no, nah, I think uh, his chainsaw was old, though, because even if you look at one of my old videos, the old videos was uh, he had a chain. Uh, the chainsaw was like lime green and stuff, just how it was in the, the original. Oh, shit.
Yeah, so I don't know how it survived being in that wall all those times. I yeah, I thought it was gonna be different. I thought he would probably use a different saw, but uh keep the same mask. And it was just the opposite. It was that he got a new max and kept the same saw. Cause like Michael Myers is using a new knife every time. He's like, Oh yeah, cool. Oh, here's a chef knife. Oh yeah, all right. But uh, he's keeping the original mask. So I thought he was more attached to the max than the chainsaw. But yeah, that would be cool, too. If he upgrades his chainsaw, maybe he uses more. I didn't really think he was like that attached to a chainsaw or like I, I meant to say in my kill count. Originally, I was like, dude, he killed more people with the sledgehammer than a chainsaw. But Texas sledge uh, sledge uh, sledgehammer massacre doesn't have the same ring to it and chainsaws are scary man they're loud that's why a bunch of people run around with them on uh halloween horror nights well they don't have the chain on it and everything but yeah i guess i'll be wrapping up then oh nice All right, let me see. Yeah, so if I was going to rake it, I would say original, then the remake. But it's hard, man, because anytime a new one comes out, I, it's hard to rank it because I go like, man, I'm going to be re-watching this one a couple of more times, right? Like, the remake is very cool, and uh, the sheriff was cool. That's why you even put the beginning and that prequel one high up there. But this one probably has better kills than even the remake right like that ending with the head chopped off that was cool the whole bus scene was cool like if you just want to watch cool kills and everything i don't think it gets much better than this one and was it scary i i watched it with the uh, a nephew of mine he got really scared and ran out the room <laughs> i i think they thought it was cool until uh leatherface came out at the end Oh, man. And that started the whole thing. It's not like, dude, I didn't kill her. I'm just like, hey, relax. If he was said, hey, man, relax. I'm sorry. But that is a, that is a dick move on that uh, cop's part, too. The sort of like grab him. Like, hey, cut that out. Like, dude, my woman just died right here. Give me some space. Yeah, I just watched a movie five minutes ago on what a, a guy is streaming a review. Wow. Hey, that's my review. <laughs> hey, it's my own uh, kill cat. I can't stream it. I stream that because uh, I do something uh, for my son and such. So <laughs> I'm not streaming a review. I'm streaming a uh, sort of kill count, the uh, live um, spoilers. Thoughts I couldn't get into in the original uh, video because I try to make those little kill counts very short and poignant and the watch time was cool on it and people watched it near the end. I mean, that that's very cool. So I don't go that in depth into it. And that's why I do the streams for. But yeah, I don't know. I like it every time that uh, the guy. So he was a regular guy at first. He was just a big dude. But a, a bit supernaturally strong if you break a fool's wrist like that and stab him with the bones. Hey, where could they even take the franchise next? <laughs> Leatherface takes Manhattan. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that guy was banging the Leatherface was banging that uh, orphanage lady. They might have had kids, right? And then uh, we'll see where it goes from there. And the post credit scene is him actually walking to the original house, which is very cool. That's almost like Halloween 2018. I was sort of let down that they didn't show the house, and I guess they listened to fans, and they put the house in Halloween Kills. 
So I think they'll take the good of what all this happened, like the kills were good and everything, and make a sequel off it. But it's so divisive. We're not going to get sequels if people are so divisive about it. Like most of everybody likes Scream. That's why there's going to be a Scream 6. Everybody liked Halloween 2018 enough that they made Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends. Like, I say do a crossover right now. Like, Leatherface, like I said, it's going to be like a, a green to a boxing match between two fighters. And Leatherface, in some instances, will be the A side, and some he will be the B. Like, if it's him versus Jason, he's definitely the B side versus Jason. Jason is an A-plus player. He's never even had anything uh, besides his theatrical run. Oh, and we got Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the video game coming out soon. Like, I don't know. It was pretty weird that it came out and uh, they didn't try to release that at the same time. Here, let me see if I, I got a trailer for that, I think. Do I? Well, whatever. There is a game coming out from the Friday the 13th people, so I thought you should release it at the same time this movie comes out, man. But it seems like Netflix didn't market it enough and didn't put out ads for it or anything like that. So I, I'm not sure what their uh, long-term plan is. I think this was just maybe a one and done. But they have the other movies out there and... You know, if it was a box office hit or a fan, I really liked it. I hope we get a sequel to this because the whole point of this is like, let's get more movies. I am still waiting for them to announce a Candyman uh, sequel too. that did well as well. So I, I don't know what it takes to make a sequel besides scream is getting another sequel and uh, we're getting a new Halloween this year. And here's a Halloween update. Jamie Lee Curtis actually says she just finished uh, filming Halloween Ends. So her part is done. She's done filming everything she had to for Halloween Ends. So that's cool. So, But she she's an old lady. She probably wants like, hey, man, film all my stuff in blocks. And when I'm done, I'm done. And I would say maybe Lindsay, the Lindsay Wallace dies and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. I would say Allison might live. But yeah, with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I think that's most of my thoughts already. Yeah, saying the ending, he's, he's going back home. That's cool. Like, I want to see the original house. I want to see, I want to see other family members, too. Like, maybe uh, is the rest of the family dead? If he was the youngest, he's still alive. Like, that old man Cook is probably dead because that guy was a little bit old. The actor died anyway. So if your actors and actresses who portrayed you are dying, you're pretty much guaranteed you'll not be, a, the character should be alive that long either. Because it was a long time ago. But it's just uh, like, you know, it's just we'll probably get more Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies in the future. It's just are we going to get it sooner rather than later? Or are they going to reboot and give us another timeline again? I don't know. Like, I, I think even Jason versus Freddy, that's a different timeline because they did Jason X. And then they did uh, Freddy versus Jason. So you're like, whoa, I thought he lived until he went to space. So none of these you're supposed to take that serious in a timeline anyway, but I think next you definitely got to have them back at the house and some sort of crossover. Like Disney owns everybody now, dude, and they got it. They just did Spider-Man No Way Home. That's like the biggest crossover of all time. You got to cross them over with somebody. I don't think he can uh, book up Michael Myers or uh, Jason or Freddy Krueger. All those people deserve their own movies, and then they could do a little crossover. Or I don't care, man. You could put them all together at this point. I don't know. Or I said Chucky, because maybe even Leatherface is the A side versus the B side of Chucky, because Chucky's probably a B side right now, you know? 
So who would take the most money out of that, right? Because Leatherface got a movie and on Netflix, and Chucky, you were on the Sci Fi channel. So he's in a better position to negotiate better. <laughs> yeah, you go. Slasher movie cinematic universe. They could, man. They could they could I think they're trying to do that with um they're coming out with the wolf man again with Ryan Gosling. Uh they have the invisible man. I think they're gonna try to link those movies together. I've been hearing they're trying to make a monster verse for a long time, but none of those movies like they did the mummy with Tom Cruise, and that was supposed to be like linked up with the other ones, but it wasn't even a horror movie. You gotta make a horror movie first. And then worry about because these uh heavy action sort of movies they're not gonna cross over that way. And those people are way too old. The Visible Man and the Wolf Man. I mean, I'll watch those movies and that's cool. Or but I think people like dude, Leatherface has been around for 50 years already. 50. So the Visible Man and everything, I don't know, man, 80, 70. Like they're trying to do the Wolfman and Frankenstein and all those people together. And this is like the second string of people, but man, they've been around for ever, ever as well. And no one's really asking for a Wolfman movie or anything. Cause uh, that's just werewolf movies. I just saw a werewolf movie. It wasn't Wolfman. It was just werewolves. So when you do invisible man or Dracula, or anything, any Dracula movies, just a vampire movie. But when you have Leatherface, that's Leatherface. So you have Jason, that's Jason. They could have done something like uh, with Cabin in the Woods. Like uh, they have all these monsters and uh, it's like a ritual sacrifice thing. And you use them all in small bit way or something like that. You could bring all these guys together for some reason. Uh, where hulk is a serial killer dude that would be pretty cool he kills somebody every time he's mad right oh, i like that because i think the hulk basically is supposed to be like dr jekyll and uh hide right hide and Je whatever that's called we drink the potion and you get crazy but it's supposed to be hulk is when he's mad he's crazy and somebody might end up dying Oh yeah, when the Henny Man's leg broke. Oh man, I I didn't see that for a bit. Oh yeah, dude, that was brutal. That was like, like I said, I saw that happen. To, I see that more often happen in MMA. MMA, like I saw that happen to Conor McGregor. Anderson Silva broke his leg like that. Uh, who else? Uh, Chris Weidman broke his leg like that. I also saw that with Paul George. Paul George broke his leg that way too, like brutal. I I see that more happen in uh, Emma. Well, that's probably because I watch a lot of MMA. But yeah, oh <laughs> Victor Crawley from Hatchet. There you go. Book it. I'd be down for that because I think people go like that's cheese dick. If you have like a crossover like that, but. Leatherface is definitely almost like the A side, and I would say Victor Crowley, uh Hatchet is C side. You know what I'm talking about? Because I think if you go Mount Rushmore of all the slashers, you probably go Freddy, Jason, and you know what? It's even over Dracula and all those. I'm sorry because they had their movies way back in the day, but like I said, it just, they just became a Dracula movie became uh, just vampires. So sort of like it got dumbed down and it got watered down. So Dracula isn't as popular as it once was. Same thing with the Wolfman. Like, all right. And you got the Twilight movies and all that stuff. It's just vampire movies, Wolfman movies and stuff like that. So, yeah. But if you do a Mount Rushmore, it's going to be Leatherface. No, Leatherface might not even be on it. It could be Jason, uh, Freddy. And who Leatherface probably be up on there. Never mind. He could probably be like the third guy. I wouldn't even put Pinhead up there. Pinhead had like one successful movie. Or you put Ghostface, man. Ghostface is killing it. Like even though it's been five movies, those all those movies went like mainstream and popular and made a lot of money. So those will probably be A side people and and the uh, B side is probably like your hatchets, your 
or C side. Cause I would need Leatherface is probably B side. Chucky is B. And then you go C level, you go Leprechaun, uh Puppet Master, um Ghoulies, all that shit. So you have tiers of that stuff. So you it's almost like regular fights. Like you don't want to see uh right, you don't want to see John Jones versus a regular nobody or a Mayweather fight uh Logan Paul or something. You go, yeah, he should be him. He's a professional boxer. So you don't want to see an a pla a, a guy face like a B or C guy. So I would like Leatherface to face one of those A guys. Because if Leatherface is facing Hatchet, that should just be like the warm-up match. Like Leatherface just chops him in half, and that's the end of the movie. Or you could do the wrong turn, guys, or anything. I don't know. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, I'll try to get some more stuff out. Uh, what else? Oh, I got the screen footage. We're going to do a screen watch along pretty soon. That comes out in less than a week. So that's pretty cool. And there's like an extended version. There's go there's going to be like added scenes and... I can already do like an updated kill count because Scream is still one of my most uh, watched uh, videos. It's one of my most watched videos of all time. Thanks, everybody, for watching that one. That one got up to 100K. So very proud of that. It's still doing well, even though there's some uh, uh, there's some like real footage out there. That's why I want to cover the real footage. All right, man. Thanks. You have a blessed one, too. But yeah, yeah, definitely uh, everyone check check out uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Watch that. I wanted to do a uh, watch along, but I didn't have enough time today. Because it's only like an hour and a half. Look, we already did like an hour. Like if I did like another 20 something minutes, that would have been the whole thing. But thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, watch some more stuff. And uh, keep you guys updated and maybe some Halloween stuff and more kill counts in the future. So thanks, everybody. Later.